what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and see what's going on in the energetic space for my lovely Sagittarius just going to do a quick energetic check-in before we close this evening out um, guys, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages for that ninth house. Um, transits and or placements, but even with that being said, just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? All right, so a spirit is throwing the cards out here. I just want to let you all know that don't forget to mark your calendar for March the 7th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we will be going live to answer some free personal, to give a quick general reading as well as um, answer some free Q and A's, okay? Uh, so the energy that is out here is I definitely feel like someone is obsessed. Somebody is watching you. Um, I don't like that hustling is here and hooked. Like, I feel like that somebody's trying to figure out a way to get you hooked, honey. Somebody's trying to learn you. Somebody's definitely watching, try, what, wow, inside scoop. Somebody's definitely watching, trying to learn you right now. So just be mindful of how obvious you're being about what you need. Be mindful of divulging too much personal information. Yeah, like I feel like that to miss, like when you missed an opportunity with this person, you dodged a bullet, okay? But I feel like that now this person, don't ignore the fact that this person is still, like don't ignore, if you still hold a grudge towards this person and definitely don't ignore the fact that this person throws up some sort of joke or something of some sort of grudge, like some type of, issue between the two of you all if this person jokes about it if you see any inclination that this person is holding a grudge don't ignore that and definitely don't divulge too much of your personal information to this person this person is trying to do something to get you hooked yeah wow yeah they want happiness hater they don't like um Mm -mm. you're doing too much in their opinion you're doing too much this person uh may end up trying to offer you some sort of finances to get you back within the grips of their control but it's just the same shit different day wow but i do feel like even this person here, they're at a shooting range. This person is definitely trying to figure out the perfect, like, like I'm hearing, they trying to look for the shot, <laughs> the one and done. Like, what can they get? Why is this energy keep coming up? What is this zodiac sign? Sagittarius, Leo, Libra. Double Leo, Libra, and uh, Sagittarius here. Um, how will Sagittarius know who this is, Spirit? How will Sagittarius know who this stalker is? Who is this stalker who absolutely cannot stand to see Sag doing good? What are some characteristic traits? How would Sag know who this is? You and this person could have, uh, there's something about your resources. This person definitely feels like you're very resourceful. That's how you may know who this person is. Um, this person, you, I definitely feel like that you, like, adventurous. You enjoyed that. That might have been like the spotlight. Like, when you guys are good. It's joyful. It's like very creative. It, like you can see a future with this person. Um, we have farmer. This person could actually flat out be a farmer. Um, but most importantly, this person, like this, uh, even though I don't have any earth here, this person is definitely affected by the earth, by pentacles, by stability, by finances. But they're very foolish in the risk that they take. 
And it's because, and like this person may even have the motto of, I know how to get it. I like, I can get it right back. Like this person really could plant a seed and really cultivate something beautiful. But this person is just as rec reckless with what they cultivate for sure. But if they put more planning into the risk, baby, this person could have a beautiful. Anything else? What is the one thing that Sagittarius needs to look out for? What is the characteristic trait that Sagittarius is not aware of that this person tries to keep hidden? Thank you, Spirit. Engineer. Um, Uh, this problem, like this, uh, it says complex systems here, problem solver. I do feel like that this person is really well, really good at solving complex problems here, to be honest with you. Um, but it's almost like they're it, it, just as good as they are at solving the problem. If they have, it's easier for them. If they have, if if you'll solve it for him, what's the point of me doing it? Okay. And I feel like that is because this person really does overthink, overgive, and overanalyze a situation to perfection here. Okay. This person could desire to be an engineer as well. This person could desire to build something, to create something. Here, this is the second time that I've seen the word architect in this person's energy. Um, this person could love to build stuff. And this may be something that you're unaware of. So like this, ooh, we're talking about a stalker. So this is someone that could be trying to, ooh, now we're talking. This is someone that is stalking, obsessed, watching you, trying to figure out how to get you hooked. This person is trying to figure out how to build a problem. So are trying to come in and figure out an angle to come in and solve a problem for you to get you hooked and dependent on them. Just be mindful of that because this is the energy that, <clears throat> like this person would prefer to be the leadership in the in the captain of this ship but right now you may be like you might be running this ship just fine so if this person can figure out a way to keep to get you hooked financially with hustling and getting money out here then they could gain they could stand a, a to they could see a bit of a bigger profit benefit in this Take this as it resonates, y'all. This is y'all storyline. Y'all would know this more than me. I'm just out here trying to make sense of it. <laughs> and if you feeling good, girl, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Yeah. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to catch something. Look, they got a net here. They're definitely trying to catch something. It's like someone is trying to catch you before you go and fly off and really find your place. You know what I'm saying? They, like before you go out here and fuck around and figure out how to be independent or to thrive on your own. It's like somebody's trying to, they didn't let you get too far. Somebody might be trying to reel you back in. Let's look at this person's intentions. This person's stalking, watching, and obsessed over Sag. What is this person's intentions? The Oracle. Mm. I definitely feel like that they're trying to... They're trying to gain something here. I do. I feel like that this person might be trying to create something like whoever this is, like I feel like somebody's trying to create chaos so that they can come in and solve the issue. Like this is the chaotic storm and somebody's trying to come in with and to solve the issue. But it's in the energy of trying to get you hooked onto them. That's what I'm getting here.
What is this person's true authentic intentions as it pertains to my lovely Sagittarians? What is this stalker's intention, spirit? Yeah, I'm, I do apologize if y'all hear in the background my son snoring. He is actually in his own room tonight. But, you know, him's man of the house, honey. All right, spirit, what's this? stalkers intentions towards my lovely family y'all if you are still with me at 10 33 in we will absolutely appreciate that thumbs up button down below it does help circulate these messages into the youtube algorithm family absolutely it also leaves me and my spirit team some feedback that we're hitting home and that you're resonating with this and that you know is helping you along your journey um we have the two of pentacles for this person's intentions and the hierophant um, this person wants to balance something out. Um, I'm feeling unorthodox. They're definitely wanting. I, I do. I just feel like that they're, they're trying to make sure you don't get too far away. Um, they definitely want commitment here. There, there's, there's something about need, wanting commitment, but it's almost the energy because nothing happens by accident. It's almost the energy like this person wants to be man of the house. I'm talking about my son. And I said, but him is the man of the house. He's three. It's almost like this person is wanting a position that they don't qualify for. And like, it's not my son's fault that he's three and not a whole grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? So like, he doesn't even qualify to be man of the house. But that's like, it's almost, I don't like, I know I'm putting, everything happens for a reason in my opinion, but it's almost like this energy is desiring their intentions is to come in and assert some sort of authority, some sort of leadership over your domain, but this person doesn't qualify some sort of unrealistic expectation how does this person truly feel as it per how do they feel about Sagittarius that was the strength card boy they think that you are like they they definitely see you as something attractive and beautiful and strong and resilient. We have the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. How they feel about Sagittarius? They feel like Sagittarius is healing. They feel like Sagittarius is um, curious about other avenues, curious about other things that are out there. Um, I do feel like if you have not been communicating with this person, um, this person is... Um, This person feels like that it's hard to have some sort of like how like they can't the way that you communicate with them they struggle to relate to it because they don't feel the way that you feel about okay help me make sense of this spirit when you all communicate when you guys conversate. They don't feel as passionate about what it is that you're communicating. So this person's feelings towards you is that you guys are like, you're too analytical. You're too up in your head. You got to get out of your head. Okay. And then it's like, but when you get up and out of your head, you don't communicate, you don't entertain, you don't interact with them at all. And so this person is unsure on how to communicate with you, which is why this person feels like it's best to get you hooked five of see this person feels like i do i feel like a big chunk of this person feels like you are curious and investigating of the page of swords is you know page of swords doesn't take much action but there is curiosity there is communication that's taking place there so you, this person may feel as if like when you're healing and taking rest and rejuvenation for yourself, this person definitely feels like you're out here communicating with other people, maybe possibly online dating, getting to know other people. This person does feel that about you. So this person definitely wants to come in and reestablish some sort of leadership, some sort of dominance over this connection. 
Yeah, so this person will be, wow, this person will be communicating. Um, there is some sort of new spark that is about to transpire between you and this person. And it's because they finally, it's like they finally see an opportunity here. Is this person trying to get you to give them some money? Is this person trying to play in, get you hooked so that you will give them money? Or give them some sense of stability? Um, what is this person's true thoughts as it pertains to Sag? What is this person's true thoughts as it pertains to Sag? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, uh, the magician. This person's thoughts is the magician in the Knight of Swords. Ooh, the Four of Wands. They definitely don't want to let this get by, get away from them. Yeah, the King of Cups and the King of Cups here. Hmm. They don't want to let this get away, but they don't want to be. This is someone that is not trying. They're not ready. They don't feel like that they're ready to be vulnerable here inside of the situation. But they and they also could think that Sagittarius is very manipulative as well. But most importantly, I feel like that they feel you're very resourceful. If I'm being honest with you, they feel like you're very resourceful. Mm -hmm. But this person isn't willing nor are they ready to appreciate what it is that you're nor are they willing to appreciate right now in this current energy what it is that you're bringing to the table but they're not willing to let you get too far because they do recognize that th they hit the jackpot with you when they think about you the magician has like they can make anything happen based off of what they have but they always make shit happen the magician can make shit happen they view you as very resourceful. They they know that they've hit the jackpot, but it's the same shit, just a different day. They're not willing to make the changes yet, okay? This person is into you, but they're not willing to make the changes yet. And they know that if it, that, and, and to be honest with you, there's this energy of this person knowing that they don't have to because there's something about you that's got this, I'm gonna prove it to you energy, okay? Just keep that in mind eventually you'll get up and make something happen so they don't have to what is this person's hidden motives as it pertains to uh whatever this is that they what is this person's hidden motives well before i do that spirit what actions will this person be taking towards sagittarius in the next seven days An apology. An apology. Um, definitely trying to heal the situation, trying to offer some sort of hope and reconciliation within this situation for sure. I, uh, this person is going to show up and act as if they want to work on this. Um, um, what is this person's hidden motives before I move forward? Yeah, you're definitely going to need to listen to your intuition, um, especially if a spirit is saying that I need to tell someone, especially if this is as it pertains to a Libra, there's a need to listen to your intuition um, because a, a sudden apology here, it, there is an ulterior motive to it. Let's look at that. What is this a person's ulterior motive to this energy? This person's inner child could trigger them to respond in a way. And you could lose sight of where you're headed because you feel some sort of energy of really feeling like that you can rescue this person's inner child. And this person is well aware of this. This person is hustling, trying to get you hooked. They're trying like on, on the other side of this, it says giving money. So either this person is trying to get you to give them money they're still going to walk away. The sun card is on the other side of this, okay? I mean, the eight of cups is on the other side of this sun card. 
they're still going to leave you out in the cold. So this person is trying to get you to give them money or they have left you high and dry and they're suddenly going to come and try to give you some sort of money. There is some sort of ulterior motive here. What is the ulterior motive here of this person that's stuck in Sagittarius? What is the ulterior motive here? Three things show me concise mess, ulterior motives to keep you like this person definitely wants to block some sort of forward movement for you. I can't, I can't not see that. And I don't have reversals in this deck. So I definitely have, yeah, see this person wants to close you off to happiness. They want to, um, they want to jade your vision as it pertains to the options that you have available. You know what I'm saying? Like that, they definitely want to, they want, to, this person is trying to pretty up what it is that they're offering. I do want you to know that they're trying to prevent you from going, moving forward with some sort of plan here. Um, mm. in an effort to get some money out of you or this person is going to use money to prevent you from moving forward with some sort of plan, okay? All right, Spirit, what is the advice for Sagittarius moving forward as it pertains to this energy? What is the advice here as it pertains to first Sagittarius as it pertains to this storyline on the table? Hurry up and close this one out. Thank you, Spirit. The advice is the Ace of Cups. Um, allow love to, like, approach this situation from a compassionate standpoint, okay? Um, I feel like that this is someone that, this is a happiness hater. So don't allow, like, this person doesn't like to see you authentically happy and glowing and vibrating high. So don't allow this person's actions to cause a stop to your happiness or you vibrating high. So definitely make sure it says, do you feel that in your heart? That's potential. So just look at this situation and really allow love to lead the way here. Yeah, the King of Swords. And this says we can all learn um, important things from one another. And then the two of swords is here. This the person is definitely intending to keep you from seeing some sort of truth here. Okay. And in efforts to gain some sort of money. This person is trying to keep you from seeing something in an or in an effort to gain some money. But they're saying here that with the King of Swords being at the bottom of the deck, there's no point in taking offense to this situation here because it is offering you some sort of knowledge. It's offering you some sort of awareness into who it is that you're dealing with. So there's no need in getting mad. Don't be mad at this person for revealing their true colors. Take that into consideration and put that in the bank so that when you're moving forward, you know how to address this person and how to handle this person because you haven't spent so much time ignoring their red flags or dismissing this person's red flags. Anything else, Spirit, before we close this out? Thank you. Yeah, this person, be very cautious. I cannot say this enough. With this energy, be very cautious about what information you're divulging, okay? You can shine your light and you can be like, I can be happy, I can be vibrating high, I can stay that way without coming too close to you. I can shine my light and I can send vibrations your way without allowing you too close to me. Because at the end of the day, there is an ulterior motive that this person that is very concerning. And I feel like that the reason it's not allowing us to get so deep into it is because I am speaking to a collective. Okay. But, uh, I definitely feel like that you want to be mindful of pouring and giving too much into this situation. As I do feel like this person could be trying to hustle you out of money, hustle you out of information to use it against you one way or another. Okay. To drag you down. All right, Archangel Michael, close this out for us.
it's time to play have fun don't take life so serious okay um get back to focusing on joy the joyous experience of life archangel michael is all over this even though it may feel like that you are like when is this ever going to end or how can this happen i've you done so much on your healing journey it may just feel like this something is catching you completely out of left field and it's unexpected know that archangel michael is all over this situation and actively working on it here helping you clear this away okay and um then the last card we hear is your loved ones are safe at this time let go of the fear for your loved ones um, especially if it's prevent, preventing you from making a, a decision that you know needs to be made. If a decision that you have been avoiding making out of fear of the safety and concerns of other people, your loved ones, just know you don't have to allow that to be to take place. You don't have to allow that to weigh in to your decision making. They are safe and they are taken care of right now. OK. Yeah, make sure that you pray from your heart. Pray from the heart. It says prayers really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch the miracles unfold. I absolutely love you, my dear. I hope that this message offered you the guidance that you were seeking. If this message resonates, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If you would like a personal reading, don't forget to head over to the mandulaawakening.com where we are running some sales at this time. Love you, y'all.